Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to make an earthquake effect in After Effects. First of all let's go to Tracker and click on Track Camera, Expand Advanced and click on Detailed Analysis. Select three points on the car. Then right click on it and select Create Null and Camera. Duplicate the layer. And remove the 3D camera from duplicated layer. Select the pen tool and draw a mask around the car. The mask shouldn't be perfect, we need to remove the car from background. Press M on that layer. Right click on the mask and click on track mask. Track mask automatically. Change the mask mode to subtract. Toggle off the bottom layer click on eye icon. Go to window and make sure to enable the content aware fill. Go to Content Aware Fill tab, change Alpha Expansion to 4, and make sure Fill Method is set to Object and Range is set to Work Area, then click on Generate Fill Layer. Yep that's a bit weird, but nobody gonna notice it after a few more edits. Toggle on the very bottom layer, duplicate it and move it to very top of the layers. Remove from it 3D Camera, and let's rename it to Car Only. We will need to isolate the car now. Click on Roto Brush Tool. Make sure that quality of preview is set to full. And double click on Car Only Layer. Make a nice selection of the car. Once you have finished selecting the car, press space on your keyboard to preview the video and check if everything is selected perfectly. Here the selection is jumping. Go to the moment from where that started and correct the selection. Then press space again. After Effects will automatically correct rest of the selection. Once you finish selection and correcting, press on freeze button to isolate the car. As it finished freezing, go back to composition and let's bring a ground collapse green screen video. I will leave a download link in the description. Toggle off the car only layer. Select green screen layer and link it with 3D track null layer and enable 3D on green screen layer. Expand transform and change scale and position of the green screen. Toggle on car only layer and reposition the hole under the car. Add key light effect to the green screen. Click on eyedropper 2 and select the green screen to remove it. Toggle off car and position the hole so it looks realistic. Toggle on car only layer back and move that layer to the top. Then select all layer except car only. Right click and pre-compose all layers into one. Make sure move all attributes is selected. And also check the box to adjust composition duration and hit OK. Duplicate pre-composed layer and move it to the top. Toggle off car only layer. Go forward to see the hole. And create a mask like this. Press M on your keyboard. Click on stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. Go forward and track the mask like that till the end of the video. Toggle back on car only layer. Press P on your keyboard and let's animate the falling effect. Create a keyframe for position at the start of the video. Then go forward where the ground collapses and change position. Now move the start keyframe to where the collapse starts. Let's add Z rotation to the video. Enable 3D on car only layer. Go to the moment where you want to start rotation from and make a keyframe for Z rotation. Go a few frames forward and change Z rotation. Enable motion blur on the timeline to all layers. Select car only layer and press U on your keyboard. Select all keyframes and press F9. Select all layers and pre-compose them into one layer. And let's add a shake effect. Go to the moment where the collapse starts. Add an effect twitch. Set amount to zero and create a keyframe. Change speed to 15. Expand enable and toggle on slide light and blur. Press U to see the keyframes. Go a few frames forward and change amount to 5. 
I will toggle off blur and light. Slide is enough I guess. Go a few frames forward whether the car fully falls down and let's stop there a shake effect. Create a key frame there. Then go a few frames forward and set amount to zero. All you have to do is now add a earthquake collapse sound effects. Car falling into the hole effect is ready. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.